Hey guys, it's your boy Alex here, and we're going to what a video about very true. What's very true? Let me edit the quality because it's butters as hell. What the fuck? It was a dork. Are you who got dumb? bit by a spider? Wait, I didn't hear that. It was a dork who got bit by a spider. Now he's super spider dork. And he still can't get laid. By the way, uh, one Bruh. thing about Andrew Tate is everything in the world that has value revolves around, like, uh, coming back to the home base. Yeah, lady, it's not fucking hard. Just man the fuck up here. That's why it literally requires you to man the fuck up. Because if you man the fuck up, you have the balls to approach the girls, you have the balls to seduce them and all that, because you're a fucking man. Literally requires that. I don't know what's so hard, but it's literally manning the fuck up. Women love manly men. They don't like sissy boys, so otherwise we'd all be sissy boys and they'd be the dominant ones and they'd not disrespect us from that. But women always like dominant masculine men. Remember that, G. Get back to the video. Can you get laid with it or not? Yeah, so this is an interesting point. Everything in the world that has value comes back to the home base of can you get laid. Well, from a biological and from a historical perspective, on, the only men that reproduced were men of value, right? So if, if you look at humans from... What the, do you think caused that value? Masculinity. Masculinity is the core. If you are masculine, you're already valuable. You can build... You have the potential to build even more value because of your masculinity. You already have value because you're masculine. Bro, you can protect, you can provide. Bro, provide with so many stuff that are not beta male shit. Get me, just provided a healthy, more strong children like yourself. If you're masculine, if you're alpha, whatever they call it. If you're masculine, that's what it's it. The dawn of time, only 10% of males reproduced. The majority of men died without ever reproducing, whereas 99% of females reproduced. So the point being that, yeah, if you're a high value man that's achieved things of value, it's gonna make you be perceived by females as a, yeah. as a better mate. It doesn't matter if you make more money. It doesn't matter if you train and get Bro, women nowadays are just, they're giving it off to everyone. Back then, I don't know, probably 10%, you're right. But now it's just everyone. Everyone fucking gets that woman. Everyone except the sissy boys, the absolute bitches. But yeah, anyways. A better body, it doesn't matter if you become more important. All these things are seen as admirable. They're all seen as something that a female wants in their partner. So when I link things back to getting laid, what I'm effectively doing is I'm going down to the baseline of humanity, the lowest common denominator, right? These dudes clearly struggle with women. I know they said Lush, the sex toy, is married to a four. So, I mean, she, he's married to the kind of girl I reject. So, of course, if he finds it offensive when I mention that, yeah, sex is important and your value as a man to some degree will always be derived by how many females want you. Females wanting you is a good indicator of value as a man. Just right. as, as a woman, your value is derived from men wanting you. Look at all these supermodels and all these Instagram models and all these women who are very beautiful. Their value is derived from the fact that men want to be with them. Exactly. And a man's value is derived from the fact that women want to be with him. Now, because no women on earth want to fuck these guys, they're going to pretend that isn't true. This is the thing with about, about life. When you live a second-rate existence like these betas have to, you either have to accept very harsh truths or deny them. That's true, but you can change that. It's, it's not it's not preset. It's not like destiny. Boom. Because you're a fucking beta, you can you'll always be a beta. We're not animals, we're humans. We have that potential to change. Yeah, he's right, but he forgets one point. Humans have the potential to change and become more alpha, more competitive. So higher and boom and more competitive. And since there's seven billion humans divided by by two, three billion, three point five billion men. So 3.5 billion men competing against each other indirectly, directly, whatever, is going to result if they if they actually increased in value and stuff. Pff, women, I don't know, it's going to be even harder. But since most men decide not to increase and stay at the same level, then I'm not surprised why they'll just cry about it. So yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.